Episode three, we're going to Windsor. Okay, yes. where are we going there? Uh, well, we're going there because mate Simon is one of the singers in the chapel choir there, and he's sung a lot of big services where he's had to sing the national anthem in front of millions of people. So he's going to give me some hints and tips on how to perform the best I can perform. Oh, great. Like a singing lesson? Not a singing lesson, no, we're colleagues. Um, and so he's just going to give me some hints and tips on how to get the best out of the situation. Do you Shouldn't be I mean? ashamed. Everyone, need, everyone is learning every day of their life. It's not a singing lesson. Just some hints and tips from my mate, my friend and colleague. A hints and tips lesson on how to sing better from someone more experienced and nay better. Do you want to get the train? La 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 So that was a top A that you just sang. Yeah, yeah. so when we were talking before, Lloyd pretended that he could only sing up to an E, but actually, I've when, he, when he's got a camera on him and he's showing off, he can go right up there. Yeah. Right up well, there. Well, that's good then, isn't it? Because oh, there's going to be a camera at Wembley. And yeah, I'll be... sure. <laughs> sure. I mean, it depends how in which, which key you want to sing the national anthem, of course. That's that's one of the main things. I'd, uh, up, what, so I'd like to do it so it goes up to the top G at the end. Top G. So G major, probably. Yeah, OK. Yeah. All right. No, that's fine. That's fine. Well, let's just start with a, with a, with a little warm-up exercise. What I'm going to get you to do, um, and so what a, a, lot, a lot of the stuff that you're going to want to start thinking about um, is uh, to do with vowels, vowel yeah. sounds. That's one of the main things which, when it comes to singing. Um, and once you've got your vowel sounds sorted out and the, the changes between vowel sounds, then a lot of the other stuff just kind of falls into, in, into place. Yeah. And, pr and pronouncing God. And pronouncing God, not cod. We'll, right, we'll, that, we'll, that is, I don't... It's, it's all right, Lloyd. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Mm. Start with an E sound. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's a little bit low, so we're going to go. We're going to go up a little bit. We're going to. Yeah. Right, cool. Nice, nice. Remember when you get to the top of these these phrases, and remember to try and think over the top of them rather than thinking like underneath. So keep keep your jaw nice and low. Keep keep yourself grounded. As singers, we, we talk about support. Diaphragm. Which is your diaphragm, which is kind of shitty muscles. down there, kind of just above where your tummy is. Yeah. Um, is that what they are? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, when you're Please. tensing, I get it, I get it, right, okay, I see. Yeah, um, really, so we talk about um, support being from the diaphragm, but you can really actually think from much further down than that, like sort of around the pelvis, even, okay. um, you know, without getting too sexy about things. So, so around just, the... Just around there. Um, good, let's, let's, do, let's do E now. So remember to breathe, our one and two. Yeah. Okay, cool, very nice. What we're going to do is we're going to take all the consonants out. So we're literally just going to sing, we'll do it line by line. We're going to sing God Save, God Save the Queen. Yeah. Just the vowels, so. Okay. Okay. Sounds weird, doesn't it? Yeah, it does sound weird. It's, it's a very strange thing to have to get into doing. Maybe think about the vowel sound on gracious. It's, it's. What are you pointing at that for? You've got to control yourself down yeah, No, I have to control myself, man. Vowels <laughs> and vowels. Yes. Okay. That's a really good one. I'm going to use that. Excellent. So, one, two, three. Very good. No, it's just be careful of the tuning at the end there. Would you, um, would you say that you? Uh... You can tune a Lloyd, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> That's not oh. funny. Oh, one, two, three. God save. Okay, no, no, I'm going to have to stop you there because it is now. You're just talking about fish, which should. Just... <laughs> I'm not talking it's about just, fish. It's just, it's just not what we're looking for, mate. Um, God, 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 God. Don't put too much on it. Okay. God. Oh, one, two, three. 
Oh, very nice. It's quite very hard nice. to sing it in this room. Yeah, right? it's, it's not the most it's a lovely for, room, forgiving acoustic. But I mean, but it'd be great if we could do it in the castle, but apparently yeah, we're not allowed yeah. to. I mean, I, I can't say anything about that. Yeah, you know, we're trying to hit that top G, is it? Yeah, yeah that's top right. G natural. But what are his uh, bass notes like as well? Bass notes? <laughs> Why are you talking about fish? Fish again. Why yeah, are you talking I about love fish? It. The low notes, they're bass notes. Bass uh, notes, bass, yeah, yeah, bass yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. That's fine, yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah, so we we got we got you down to a bottom A. Yeah. La, la, oh, big Billy Bass. La. How low can you go? I can go. Well, it's it's kind of morning time, isn't it? So, la la la. That's a bottom C. Can you go lower um, than the keyboard? Uh, well, I can go. La la. It goes lower than the keyboard. Well, this lo lower than this keyboard. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's quite yeah. a small keyboard. Put a bit extra on the end. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's low, isn't it? Thank you for having me. I really appreciate what we've done today. Um, I'm going to take all that in. Bowels and vowels. Um, speaking of bowels, I do just need to pop to the toilet and Excellent. then I'll get myself and go. So uh, right, are you going to be? Yeah, you're right with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Keep filming. All good. Yeah. Evacuate those vowels, man. Vowel evacuation, gosh. I suppose that's another word for singing, really, isn't it? Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so you've met a lot of singers in your time. Yeah. What are we thinking for Lloyd? Got the talent? Do you think he could do it? There's, there's definitely some talent there, yeah. I think he's, he's, got, he's got some hard work to do, um, but I reckon, I reckon he can do it, you know? Well, very much a singing lesson, I'd say. It wasn't a singing lesson. He's my friend, just giving me some hints and tips about how to sing less anthem in a big thing. In sort of a lesson format. Lesson, lesson format, okay. okay. Where now? Now we're gonna go to Wembley. Windsor's not a million miles away from Wembley and Seb's contact, um, the event organizer, is basically, he's, he's, he's based there. So I thought, you know, sure, we haven't heard from him, but why not just go and knock on the door? Address is on the bottom of the email, so. Yep. Windsor to Wembley. Yes. W to W. W to W. For a big W. Win. Win, yeah. 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 But oh. if we can slide in a way. There it is, Wembley in all its glory. There's the arch, the hoardings, UEFA Euro 2020. So close. Should we go in? Do you want to sing now? Sing now. Yeah, I'm not going to sing outside. Like, it's, not, it's not let Lloyd sing outside Wembley, it's let Lloyd sing at Wembley. I feel like they would let you sing out here. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's a kids player at Wagon Mummers, but I mean, that's not the dream. The dream is in front of 20,000 England fans. The England, so I'd like to get in. Well, whilst we're in the Wembley area, I thought it'd be quite good just going and uh, pop into the Peter Crouch TV show that he's got. Peter's a good mate of mine. Do you know I mean, we follow each other on Twitter. It seems like a building site, doesn't it? TV, TV studio is just behind this thing. So I think there's a door there. Come on, Stewie B. Peter? Just give him a text then. What? Give him a text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Jules. Yeah, not too bad, are you? Well, do you know what? We're about 10 minutes away from your office. Yeah, we're just on Wembley Way. How are you? Where's home? Is it COVID? Yeah. So what's the, the no things at all? For, oh, right, for any of the... I mean, yeah, get a backing track is probably safer, isn't it? <laughs> well, at least it's nothing personal. <laughs> Was it? Right. Yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, yeah, no, I appreciate your call. And I'll, I'll pop in and see you. Yeah, okay, all right, mate. Yeah, you take care. Cheers. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. You right? What? You right? Yeah. Um, that was just um, our contact, the organizer on the on the phone, and uh, didn't sound good. Yeah, no, it wasn't good, mate. It was, I'd say, the opposite of good. Like the the, the worst, the worst news that we, we we could have got. They are not a fan of cod. No, it's true. Not, not the time. Not okay. The time, no. So. What, what is a no? Um, it, basically, because of COVID. Yeah, um, I know it. You know, because uh, of COVID, basically, UEFA have made a decision to have no singers.
for national anthems, for any team, for any game, for any of the tournament. But the, I saw Andrew Bocelli, the big guy. Yeah, uh, yeah, he sang at the opening ceremony, which yeah, it was before a game. Yeah, it was different, and it? it was like an opening ceremony. Andrew Bocelli, big singer, he sang the opening ceremony. Then for, for any of the anthems, they're not having singers, so they just said that they're not going to have singers for, for for any of the the games. Um, singers, because you get COVID. Singers get COVID more than no. Singers don't get COVID. Just like less people on the pitch and stuff. So there's basically going to be no no singers for any of the games during the Euros. So just going to punch in for a close up here. Why? Well, just because it's sad. It's I'm shit. Not sad. It is. Yeah, it is shit. It and is, it's a waste yeah. of a singing lesson. It wasn't a singing lesson. It was just my mate giving me some hints and tips. So well, it looked like just, a lesson. It wasn't a lesson. Let's cut. Yeah. Sing Wanna start singing? Yeah, yeah let's start singing. start singing. Right, here we go. If Wembley can't come to me, then I'll come to Wembley. Yeah. God save our grace. No. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No sorry, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, cool. Well, let's I, let's take you to the other Wembley. What do you mean the other Wembley? Here. Right, I don't get it. Wembley! On a big hill, by the A40. I don't get it, what's going on? Well, you remember the old Wembley Stadium? Yes. The Twin Towers? Yes. The rubble? The rubble from the Twin Towers? When they demolished it? Yeah. Is under your feet? That is one of the towers? It's not what I had in mind, but it's, it's lovely history story. Huge day for England as the men's national team take to the field singing the national anthem beside Harry Kane today is Lloyd Griffith MBE. Do you want me to sing now? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me over the A40? Yeah, yeah. Oh God, this is not what I thought it would be but here we go. <sighs> God save our gracious Queen, long live our noble Queen, God save our Queen, send her victorious, happy and glorious, Long to reign over us, God save the Queen. This isn't over, this isn't how it ends, okay?